May I come in? Come in, come in. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, sir. Good afternoon. Sorry, sir. Please sit down. Thank you, sir. So, how are you, Vikas? I am fine, sir. Hmm? I am fine, sir. From Sikar. Yes, sir. What is happening in your Rajasthan? Uh, sir, some communion clash yesterday on Jodhpur. Why people don't want to live peacefully? Sir, they are, but uh, it may be some, maybe some religious, uh, p political uh, event, maybe. And it is in the constituency of your chief minister. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. So, which political parties do you think are involved? Sir, it's not about political party, but at local level, there are some fringe elements who may create this kind of situation, sir. Hmm. It's very bad. Hmm. All yes, these sir. things happening yes, here sir. also and different places also happening. Yes, sir. Hmm. On the on the Eid, it's very bad, sir. Hmm. On its so, what measures government has taken? Uh, sir, uh, government has taken it as a law and order situation and the ADG of Rajasthan police is uh, sent there and uh, he controlled the situation. Uh, initially, it happened on the night of uh, second, uh, but on third, it was basically between police and some uh, protesters. So, now it's a law and order situation and it's in under controls. You served for four years in ITBP. Yes, sir. Hmm? Yes, sir. Three years in bank. Yes, sir. Leaving that, now you want to join civil services. Yes, sir. And that also, group B also he adopted. Huh? Opted yes, sir. For. Why? Sir, uh, I have to opt all the services because one cannot take chance uh, for B services. And for the civil services, I already had a, a dream about serv serving in civil services. So these all uh, jobs, which are like SBI or and uh, assistant commander, was part of that plan, sir. So, assistant commander is not a sales sales place. Uh, but sir, it's a, the domain is very limited, sir. But uh, assistant commander is, is a group group A service, isn't it? Yes, sir. But in the in this civil services, you are opted for leaving the group A. You opted for group B also. Yes, sir. Group B is the same, DSP and all. Yes, sir. Why so? Sir, domain is very large in even Group B, uh, DENIX and DENIP services also, sir. Hmm. Because uh, in uh, uh, ITBP, you have to just be part of a certain kind of job profile. But in DENIX and DENIPS, you have to move to different places and serve in different capacities. Here also, ITBP also you go to different places? Sir, particularly the Indo-China Indo border, sir, only. Only Indo-China border? Yes, sir. Internal security is, uh, there are some internal security uh, uh, duties or also, duties are also, but they are limited in uh, ITBP, sir. Achha, okay. Tell me this, uh, what is common among these three service chiefs? Sir, they are from same NDA batch, sir. Huh? They are from same NDA batch. So, how it will help? Uh, sir, there will be synergy between uh, these uh, service chiefs because now we are moving towards uh, uh, theatre command structure. Hmm. We are thinking about going, uh, moving to theatre command structure. So, if they are uh, of the same batch, have a synergy and uh, we can see that in the uh, uh, the uh, the, uh, the parade, all the three chiefs were present uh, uh, for the, the army chief. Okay, now we are we will be having new parliament building. Yes, sir. Hmm? Where? Center Vista project, sir. In Delhi ah. only, sir. So, how it will be different from uh, the old one? Uh, sorry, sir, I am not aware about hmm. it. More capacity, yes, shape sir. also different. Yes, sir. More than that, they will be putting some emblem also. Oh, right. Sir. You heard about that? No, sir. What is that emblem? Sir, I am not. What is our emblem? Sir, uh, four uh, lions and Satyamav Chat. What else is there in uh, in that emblem other than lions? Uh, the the uh, wheel with the choice uh, 24 mm -hmm. spokes. Sir. That's all. And uh, animals, sir. Uh, basically, what are these animals? Uh, sir, uh, uh, as far as I remember, uh, one deer um, and uh, one tiger, I guess. Sir, I am not sure about it. Not sure about it. Okay. So, uh, just tell me, we have been. There have been talk that Russia trade you uh, stop and that will become popular, sanctions are there because they are exporting a lot of things. What Russia is importing from our place? What exports of India are going to Russia? Uh, sir, sorry sir, I am not aware. I am just aware that Indian pharmaceutical companies are there sir. One is pharma products. Sir. Any other thing major? Uh, no sir, idea. our def uh, the defense trade is a major component. Other uh, com defense defense is where? we are importing only, sir. I am talking about export. Our export. Sir, I am not aware, sir. Acha, okay. Uh, and what is our export target this year? Last year we were very happy that we achieved this much. Yes, sir. This year is how much? Sorry, sir, I am not aware. Acha. Okay. Uh, 
you stayed in delhi for some time no yes sir uh, as part of uh, sbi and as part of itbp sports we have three garbage dumps here big garbage dumps yes sir do you know what are those names uh, names i am not aware but i have seen some of them <laughs> where you have seen uh, on the D delhi uh, noida border sir one is delhi noida border huh? and one towards the uh, delhi haryana border huh? uh, and the third i have not seen sir okay vikas yes sir uh you're from sikar district yes sir i have never been to sikar district sir what should i if i have to go to sikar what should i see sir there is a famous temple of shri krishna khatu shyam ji temple sir you must visit there apart from this we have number of havelis there in lakshmangarh as well as in fatehpur so you sir you must visit them sir rajasthan had uh, recently made some amendments with respect to marriageable age sorry sir there was a law passed uh, on marriageable age you're familiar with this no sir sir government of india is thinking about it but i am not aware about rajasthan rajasthan issue okay um uh, I, I, I one of the keywords which i see in your uh, daf is ubuntu yes sir what is ubuntu sir is a south african word so it means coming together people coming together or basically uh, it's a operating system it's a linux based operating system So, Ubuntu and Linux the same or it's different? Sir, it's a flavor of a line, a flavor of Linux system. Like right? a version. Like a version. So in Linux we call it flavor. There are number of flavors like Open Solaris, Open SUSE, and number of these. Sir. So how 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 come Ubuntu and Linux never picked up compared to Microsoft and uh, Mac operating systems? Sir, earlier the GUI of these graphical user interface of of these operating systems were very uh, you know rudimentary, and you have to work in those like environment. Uh, so people were not aware about these systems, and no particular big company is installing these operating systems in their computer. Basically, the Dell is doing it. Apart from this, no company were doing this. So, so what I, is the current status of the operating system? Has it been uh, changed? Yes, sir. Definitely. After 2010, the GUI of these operating system, basically all the Linux systems, has changed so much that it's now comparable to the Windows system. And so, uh, even Windows is using uh, the drivers from this uh, operating system, sir. Okay. Open source drivers. You're familiar with Mac operating system also? Yes, sir. How is it different from Linux and Ubuntu operating system? Sir, Mac operating system is a version of Unix. We can classify it as in Unix. Uh, it's a proprietary, and other things are same because the commands commands of these uh, Mac as well as the Linux are almost same. There are some uh, variations. Okay, you are currently employed with ITBP. Sir, I resigned last year, sir. You resigned last year. What was one of the most uh, challenging experience you had uh, while working with IDBP, and how did you deal with that? Uh, sir, uh, during this ongoing conflict with China on Southern Bank of Pangongso, I was the post commander of that post, sir. So uh, first of all, the manpower at that time, because we never thought that this kind of thing can happen. So the manpower power I was having very less. Uh, so on, on the intervening night of 29th and 30th of August, when this happened, uh, I was having only 40 to 45 personnel. so and uh, fighting strength was 40 for me and uh, then uh, on the other hand the pla has around 250 plus personnel so i have to plan where i have to put my weapons because there are some support weapons with me like mmgs so i had to plan where all i have to put them so that was the biggest challenge and then uh, we have managed that and we ensured that we should not uh, create such situation like galwan because in galwan we lost uh, life of our man here because i was having less uh, strength i didn't go for a face off and try to provoke them i uh, tactically handled this situation by putting my arms and i i asked my seniors that uh, if any uh, they uh, told me that if only they cross the lac then only i can i, I should fire or without that i shouldn't do anything what is the current status of uh, that border line Ah, uh, sir. Uh, on the southern bank of Pangongso, uh, the there is a disengagement on on Pangongso, but on the Debsang plain, disengagement yet to be uh, happen. And there are number of uh, meetings. The fifteen uh, meetings are there on uh, BPM meetings are there. So still, we are not uh, basically de-escalated the situation. So forces are backed off, but still they are high heavy deployment of there. As a student of political science, how do you think we should deal with China, sir? Uh, for this there should be two options for, uh, there should be two plans first internal balancing by increasing our economy and through economy strengthening our uh, uh, military power also and external balancing uh, second option is second part is option, external balancing where we have to take support of like minded countries like and uh, create a uh, you know alliances or security platform like quad so that we can uh, handle this chinese situation how has the positions of uh, india and china ch changed internationally 
after uh, the ukraine russia crisis sir sir india situation uh, basically we have shown that we have st strategic autonomy and in the in with the china uh, they showed uh, that uh, they will go for their own interest by supporting russia or uh, not trying to halt the russia's aggressions okay uh, one of your hobbies is uh, photography yes sir uh, what do you photograph sir the natural uh, things sir so what devices do you use sir i have a dslr uh, nikon 7 d700 so uh, what restrictions to photographies are there in border regions uh, sir uh, the most important restrictions are that, that, that some areas are you know uh, are uh, out of uh, out of bound for the photography uh, because if i was on pangong so and that way it was very picturesque and very natural and very but you nice, can't take a photo but i can take the photo sir okay even as an itbp officer you cannot yes, take yes sir an because then you, i have to uh, take that in my computer and i have to like i cannot have that on my personal equipment sir okay reading non fictional books what is the last book that you have read uh, sir uh, class of civilization by samuel p huntington okay sir. can you tell me some key takeaways from class of civilization uh, sir uh, the author is it still relevant that's the question sir uh said so this book was written in 1996 on a paper of 1992 so the uh, author try to show that uh, the, civil, the now confl conflicts in the uh, world will be based on civilizational conflicts so he divided into different uh, civilization and then showed the conflicts and uh, current about current relevance uh, he the author uh, you know wrote in that book that uh, there will be a, f a fight in ukraine and russia will try to uh, divide the ukraine into two parts why because ukraine is itself is uh, divided into two civilization the eastern part which is russian speaking uh, part and is having a orthodox christian religion or civilization and the western part which is having western civilization so it is bound to be divided so yes sir i think sir, there is some relevance in this theory sir uh, you have already worked in police yes sir. why not fill ips as the first option i think you could have done better over there uh, sir uh, first i i always has dream for for i in administration services apart from this sir the Uh, for me because i was work, worked in this field as well as in sbi as well as in it i thought that i should have something which is which give me broader horizon that is why i selected is okay so you are not working anywhere right now yes sir okay okay all right uh, joint conference of chief justices and chief minister was held yes, did sir. you follow that yes sir so uh, what all came on discussion sir uh, on the uh, honorable chief justice uh, what he said that uh, see there is a first of all infrastructure lag is there because of which there is a uh, number of uh, litigations and he also talked about the government as a biggest litigant Uh, apart from this uh, cji point out pointed out that the pl pil the public interest litigation become personal interest litigation so we should create a, a such kind of harmony such such kind of judicial system where uh, the justice should be given to everybody sir okay uh, do you think the supreme court often crosses the lakshman rekha which was also talked about Uh, sir, uh, there are different views on this. Uh, there is a uh, one concept of judicial activism and other as a judicial overreach. In my opinion, judicial activism like PIL is good. Judicial overreach like uh, appointing a lokayukt of a state should be uh, the Supreme Court should have restrained on that part. Sir. Do you think it is right for the judiciary to step in when the legislature and executive fails? Ideally, if the legislature and executive is failing, they'll go for elections and public will vote them out. why should judiciary step in sir because a uh, judiciary is given the role of protecting the constitution of india and the, the and the sovereignty of india so sometimes when the aspiration of people are not able to be translated through executive or legislature then judiciary should uh, come into picture sir okay all right uh, how has been pm's visit to denmark and germany till now uh, sir it was good because we are going for a green energy uh, with the denmark however the denmark's prime minister uh, statement yesterday that india should st try to stop russia from may, uh, stop uh, war in ukraine so i think uh, we have to take it like uh, we have to take the balanced view for this that uh, everybody is uh, playing its geopolitical role sir okay what is the uh, composition of nordic countries and scandinavian countries uh Sir, I am not aware, sir. Okay, India also has some Nordic conference, also. I think. Yes, yeah. sir. Arctic anyway. Council. We are part of Arctic Council Observer Status. Sir. Okay, all right. Which non-fictional books have you read recently? Ah, uh, sir. Uh, one, uh, as I told earlier, Samuel P. Huntington's uh, Clash of Civilization. Other is Why Nation Fail, 
uh, one other book i just completed was uh, rachel carson's silent spring what is that book about uh, sir that is the first book which talked about the environmental degradation because of this uh, pesticide use so this may be this this book can be considered as the first literary evidence that uh, the, the people are talking about the environmental degradation it was written in around 1962 sir okay and what are the in the uh, environmental degradation because of pesticides uh, sir basically uh, see uh, last year we have seen the uh, locust attack this kind of thing then we have see uh, so some some food grade shortage and the uh, you know uh, the poison in the food items just because of these pesticides sir okay what all places did you serve uh, in itbp sir i was posted uh, in delhi uh, in jammu and uh, leh acha delhi in the headquarters yes sir uh, what was your role sir i was working in intelligence uh, department sir okay so itbp also has its own intelligence yes sir okay and they'll focus on the indo china thing yes sir and what all other agency do they work with Ah, uh, sir, IB, uh, NIA, as well as the uh, RO, cabinet NIA secretary. NIA also. Yes, sir. Why? Ah, uh, sir, there are some links because we are training okay. and everything, sir. Or okay. internal okay. security also, we are working with them, sir. Okay, okay. You also do photography. Yes, sir. Do you think sites like Facebook and Instagram has actually fueled discontent among the youth? Ah, uh, sir. In some aspects, yes, because it's use a platform as of for, for spreading the propaganda. so this may uh, have fueled some discontent however it is also a part of expressing yourself and then this influencer and the people are starting earning money from this also sir okay what is the role of aperture in photography so it's all about sir photography it's all about light so with aperture we can control the light what light will be there on sensor sir okay and uh, does having more megapixels lead to better picture quality sir uh, when we print something it's megapixel is a, a number of pixel per uh, per square uh, centimeter or sub inch i am not sure sir but uh, so if mere mega, mere megapixels are there there will be better picture however the size of sensor is also important for example in mobiles we have 50 megapixels uh, of a uh, uh, camera however with a dslr of having uh, 18 or 20 megapixel we are having good picture if you print it so what happens that the sensor size is also important because it will compress the photo okay thank you sir you just shared a plan that how india should uh, deal with china yes sir okay so where do we stand on the plan which you shared ma'am uh, first of all in economic terms we are moving towards the 5 trillion economy uh, it was earlier it was slated for 2025 but now as uh, i am a projected we can be achieving it by 2029 fiscal year and and on the military front we are we are now having a serious chief of defense staff and now we are moving towards uh, basically this uh, theater command concept also in term of external balancing we are working with the like minded countries like uh, usa australia in quad and and uh, also through supply chain initiative okay uh, you are from sikar yes. what are the major issues in the district then the major issue is of uh, child sex ratio so and and uh, we are having some issue some in some areas there is a issue of drinking water drinking water and how do you think these this issue child sex issue can be addressed when uh, there is first important part is awareness because what happens that people are not aware that what negative impacts this will have on the society and even on their family so uh, child sex ratio is mostly about awareness and then uh, strictly following the rule and law and uh, implementing in letter and spirit like what kind of rule uh, basically we have laws for that uh, female infanticide law pcp and dt laws we have so uh, we have to implement them in letter and spirit so what is stopping the administration to in implementing them uh, ma'am earlier it was the case the uh, child sex ratio of 888 was part of 2011 census however in now nfhs5 data said that we have uh, the child sex ratio is improved a lot like it's like around 19 18 or something so we are improving on that yes earlier we had problems but now the things are changing now so why is rajasthan hub for solar power uh, Ma'am, the uh, because we have lot of empty land there, so we because uh, in solar power we need lots of lot of sun as well as lot of uh, empty land so that we can put uh, large solar pl- uh, power plants. Is land availability the only reason, or is there any other uh, factor? 
Even the geographically, we are also in such location that we can get solar light. Solar light, availability of land, anything, any support from government side, any infrastructure which is required. Uh, Ma'am, uh, we have different schemes like a uh, Kushum uh, scheme, which is uh, implemented in in, in uh, Rajasthan. Okay. Uh, which is the most advanced country in the world in IT sector? Uh, Ma'am, United States of America. Okay. And <coughs> why do you think that it is uh, the most advanced country? What uh, they are doing so differently that they are always ahead of time. Uh, Ma'am, their uh, center of excellence in IT sector is uh, uh, Silicon Valley and it was added because the number of uh, colleges, the universities there, public funded universities there are very good. For, like, for example, Stanford University and MIT. So they few number of good students uh, there and they start their own startups. Like Google and everything was uh, a startup only. Hmm. So now even our Honorable Prime Minister and the government is focusing a lot on the IT sector in India. And there's a huge gap if you see between the most advanced country and us. So how do you think that we can expedite the process and what all needs to be done? Uh, Ma'am, our focus should be on startups. B basically what happens that people have ideas but they they get they could not get the funds for uh, their ideas. So the startup ecosystem should be made such that we have, uh, we have good IT sector. In this, we have to focus on uh, basically ease of doing business like getting uh, the registration, like like uh, con uh, enforcement of contract or the availability of electricity. No, I didn't get you. You were saying startup. How will startup help here? How will it accelerate the growth of IT? Then what happens that uh, this uh, we have only n few number of big com big IT companies like mm -hmm. Infosys, like TCS. Mm -hmm. If our, if we have to expand, we have to do we have to make number of companies. For example, the U how US developed, US IT industry developed first. They uh, the Google came up, then Apple came up. But you just said that before that there are good colleges. You started with colleges and universities that you know government is they are all government funded and they are very good colleges, and so don't you think that before startups or before having the companies, the emphasis should be on creating some kind of research center, incubation center in the colleges and universities? Ma'am, it is already in place. Hmm. For last last seven, eight years, it's already in place. Utter tinkering labs is there and the ecosystem is also... Is it sufficient? Yes, ma'am, I think it's a work in progress and uh, in hmm. future we will uh, be seeing good results. Okay, fine. Um, what is the latest happening in IT sector? Any new development, new technologies? No, uh, this is uh, now that now the time is of Industrial Revolution 4.0, where the things are based on artificial intelligence and in, uh, Internet of Things and deep learning. Okay. Uh, PM, our uh, honourable Mr. Modi is supposed to visit Nepal. Have you? Are you aware of it? No, ma'am, sir. Okay, and. Uh, what is your view on China and India relationship uh, after this Russia and UK war, Ukraine war? I mean, my view, the aggression of China will increase because it has the Russia-Ukraine war has, has shown the world that West is not capable enough right now to intervene in such kind of aggression. What by about anybody. India and China? I'm asking about their relationship. Uh, man, uh, the aggression of China will increase uh, in terms of India's borders. Fine. Thank you. Okay, Vikas, your interview is over. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. You have done quite well. Yes. Good, very good energy. Thanks. At this time, mm -hmm. just maintain eye contact with other members. Sir. Yeah? Yes. When you are yes. responding to one, maintain eye contact. Keep on reading contact affairs. Sir. I think I don't have anything. No, I think uh, smiling face, good energy. Uh, some answers were too quick. Uh, I think like maybe I don't know initially, just take look knowledgeable, good posture. Moving on confidently. Overall, it was a great experience. Make sure you bring an opportunity to talk about this ITBP experience in the bottom. That will work in your favor. Sir, uh, I once uh, I also get to uh, gave one mock interview. In that, I was given this suggestion that you should not bring it to ITBP. I think it's something that very few people have opportunity no, to. Serve. I think they will definitely ask. Huh. Huh? And once it comes to ITBP, they will ask that China problem also. Yeah. How you handled that that experience, you? Sir, sir. I think that, that is a very good experience that you can show because uh, I think it will. Be Our other 1800 uh, candidates won't have it. <laughs> yes, yes. And, and there can be other side of That's why you are running away. Huh? 
And it because you have to face difficulties there, that's why you, you resigned and then, <laughs> that also prepare for that. Yes, so overall, you are very energetic, very knowledgeable. You have a very interesting job. <coughs> so I don't have anything to say as such. Sir. You'll do well. So except for one or two places, I think that you spoke little fast. Sure. So it was difficult to catch up with your speed also and your energy also at some sure. places. So that is the only feedback uh, I have, except that you know some of the answers were closed very abruptly. Immediately you, you know, uh, it was a very abrupt closure, and I think that's it. Otherwise, very nice, very good. Thank you. Yeah.